the spark plug so we're able to roll the engine over easy enough. Good time to replace your spark plug. Yeah, good time to replace it. So now we get our spark plugs out, pull the distributor cap off, and you want the rotor to be lining up with the number one spark plug wire. Alright, so we got our distributor cap off. Now what you're going to want to do you want to get this turned to basically where it looks like it was pointed at that right where the wire was coming out of the cap and then when it's pointed there you should have your dot on the crankshaft lined right up with your zero. There you go. Now you can be 180 out where this dot will still line up on the crank with the zero but you'll have your rotor pointing 180 out so you got to make sure that you've got this pointed at one and your mark at zero. Straight off. All right, now you can look at the front of the gear and you should see the pin lined straight up and down. That'll tell you you're at top dead. You can confirm it by looking down in here and you'll see that the rocker feet are riding on the base circle of the camshaft and the lobes are pointing away from where the rocker feet are. So you know that both of these valves are closed and you're top dead number one cylinder right now. All right, so now we've got everything at top dead center. We're ready to adjust our valves. So the first one you're going to want to do on your intakes when you're top dead number one cylinder, you're going to be able to do number one and number two intake valve. On the exhaust side, you'll be able to do number one and number three exhaust valve all at the same time in this position. Now you want eight thousandths on your intake and you want twelve thousandths on your exhaust. So we'll get our feeler gauge right in there. Full flathead screwdriver. All right, so we'll take our 8,000s feeler gauge to the first one. We'll get it till the screw is kind of just barely touching it. Now you don't want to clamp the feeler gauge. You want it to just barely slide through there, just a little bit of tension. If, if you can't pull or push on it without too much force, it's too tight. So just like that. Then we'll cinch it down with this. Now you don't have to get this killer tight. It is just aluminum. Just snug that up. Double check it slides right through there, and that one is done. Now we'll move on to the one right next to it for this side. So we'll do our number two intake side. Same thing, just let it glide right through, a little bit of tension. Lock down the lock nut. Now sometimes you might have to hold the screwdriver and the wrench depending on what the condition of your stuff is. That works for those. We'll do the exhaust side. We've got our 12,000 feeler out and we're going to do the number one and the number three cylinder. And as you can see those are not on the lobe right now. That's how you can confirm it if you're ever wondering. So we'll get our 12,000. Same thing. Just a until it glides right through, a little bit of tension. Snug it down. Double check. Just like that. So then we can go over to our number three. Get that one going too. Just a little bit of tension. Just like that. All right, so we've got our number one and number two intake valves, our number one and number three exhaust valves done. Now what we're gonna wanna do is spin the engine over 180 degrees. Pretty much we'll have this mark 
will spin all the way back around till it's at zero again because your camshaft spins half the speed of your crankshaft. So that'll give us 180 degrees on the camshaft. Spin it right over, you've got your mark here. We'll spin it right around, right back till it's at the zero. There we go. Now you can see your rotor is pointing the opposite way that it was when we started, and the pin on your camshaft is pointed straight down. So that's where it should be. So that will allow us to do the number three and number four intakes, and the number two and number four exhaust valves. 2000. Same there, make sure it just glides right through. Just like that. Number four intake. Snug it down. And that's the intake done. Exhaust left, back to the 12,000 feeler gauge. And we're going to do our number two and our number four. good. And we'll come to our next number four. Just a little bit of tension on it. And just like that. And that'll do it for the valve lash there. Mm -hmm. that we've got that all done don't forget to rotate your crankshaft back to top dead because we're not on top dead right now so it's going to be the same thing as before this mark is going to make 360 until it comes back up and your distributor rotor should be pointed back toward the 10 o'clock position where the number one spark plug wire was right at zero you can see our marks are lined up rotors pointed at the number one the pin on the camshaft is pointed straight up, so we are back at number one TDC. So while you guys are this far, before you go put it all back together, you might consider getting a new valve cover gasket. We offer valve cover gaskets. If your little rubber half moons are maybe falling apart or getting a little soft or leaking, we do now offer LC's aluminum half moons to replace those. Very nice little pieces we just start making. And they fit right in place of the factory rubber with a little bit of silicone around it.